All right. Now we're going to get this thing kicked off and get right into the game. Um, we're going to start a new account, so that way I don't interfere with my actual one -on -one game I want to putz on myself. And we can just make one for the walkthrough. And this, once you install the game, this is the screen you're going to get um, to make when you first install it. We're going to go ahead and skip the demo. Attribute points, I usually focus on intelligence and dexterity. Um, dexterity lets you wear, we use the more limber weapons like the handguns and um, things of that nature. And dexterity or intelligence lets you use all the uh, freaker boxes and or make sure you has the attributes to actually use them in the skill level. So, okay, make your password, alright. Now I'll go ahead and take uh, take it slow here just so you can, if you want to skip it, you can um, when you start the game if you haven't already. Um, most likely I would assume you started it and then got lost and then hit YouTube up, so that's usually what I do. So I'm going to assume that's what you did. There we go. And then basically the... Uh, storyline here is that this guy hires you as a hacker and wants you to do some shit for him and it's kind of all just part of the demo of the free trial of the game so if you do want the free trial that's all you're going to get is this uh, t almost tutorial like um, it's like four missions and then you get busted and the guy and the guy pretty much rats you out and then they're doing some jail time and then another hacker gets you out and uh, now you then you work for him and that's actually where the full version of the game kicks in. The demo version also is a full on tutorial where it takes you bit step by step what you're supposed to do and gets you kind of going and teaches you how to play. Well, we're, I'm, I'm already kind of doing that. We're gonna uh, skip it and if you want you can go through. The tutorial is very detailed. It's just very slow and uh, even though you go through it, if you're not familiar with the game at all, it just doesn't really, it teaches you it, but at the same time doesn't really connect the dots of when you're supposed to use it and how that helps. So we're going to go ahead and uh, boot up and walk through. One thing I do like about uh, Virtual Machine is that normally uh, this game does not window at all. Like you try to window it, it just glitches out, glitches out. Like not like Uplink, where that works out, that works pretty well windowed. Um, it just likes full screen, and it's just not really a game that really needs to be full screen. Um, you can be doing something else, pause time, and do something else, and putts, and um, treat it kind of on the side, but. Um, unless you're virtual machining, uh, you're not going to be able to window it or, or play it windowed like this. So that's kind of one of the benefits I also saw in being able to virtual machine it. That's also why I did it on Linux and not my gaming machine is because um, it made more sense to do it on a machine that doesn't normally have that capability. I mean, um, to do it on my gaming machine would have just been uh, redundant. And v VMware is very... Uh, uh, reserves hard drive space and all that and I'm like eh, I don't really want to do that in my gamer I'd prefer to do that in my Linux machine which is built for that kind of playing around and and also kind of cool to be able to play my old 30 XP 98 games on uh, my Linux so you get a little blast from the past so. alright now what the hell, we're just going to go straight downtown. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and get the laptop, that's it. We'll go ahead and you can see here, bam, this is where you can, uh, you can, I think I might do that. No. Is it? I think it's New York, yeah. We're going to fly to New York right off the bat. 
Um, this is because it's going to have you kind of go there anyways here in a little bit, and then you might end up spending too much money, or... And it has a lot more missions. Uh, once you dive into the side missions, it's got a lot of side missions anymore. Alright, so, uh, oh, no, downtown. Um, if you're not uh, cheating in this game, uh, you need to... The only way you can get an internet connection is if you go outside and go go somewhere. It's all text-based, kind of like your old school, um, well, it is an old school uh, game where there's not really any cutscenes or graphics, it's just, um, okay, Grand Central Station is usually always a good, uh, I like to pick any one that has kind of the most visitors. We'll go to Grand Central Station, that has quite a few visitors and is always a good public place. And now we can connect. And this will allow us to get the uh, see connection established. So now we have internet. The cheats on this game are very cool, very uh, nice. And if you are learning for the first time, I do kind of recommend go ahead and make a uh, two accounts, make an acid burn account, and make your uh, straight up account. Um, all you have to do is make an account with acid underscore burn, um, and then it should give you 500 grand to start off with, and well, that'll kick you off right off the bat. You can, and then a few cheats, and then you can also have all the upgraded software right away. Um, you can uh, turn off trace. You don't have to worry about ever getting traced and busted. Um, this game does not have a save game, so if you get busted, it's over. You have to, you know, start over. Uh, make another user account, and that user account is pretty much trashed. If I remember right. Um, so I found the best way to ghetto save it is you find the program files directory and you just make a zip of it. Whenever you know you close out, you like where you're at, you just uh, go to the programs file directory, make an archive of it. And then uh, if you ever need to reload it, you just delete the old Street Hacker folder and archive the new one, old one back in. And you just keep making multiples, you know, that's not a very big game, so... I mean, the game size is pretty, you know, about the equivalent to game saves nowadays, you know. The whole game is only like 90 megabytes, so... It's really not, uh, unfeasible to have 10 of them, you know, 10 save games, you know, RARs, all up in the program files folder with it, and... <coughs> and I found it's a pretty effective way to be able to save this game. Um, I might make a separate tutorial video of just showing you how to do that or what I mean, but it's rather here and all there. So first thing we want to do is we want to uh, check your email. And I think we'll do this video is going to be pretty much software. Just get your software. And we're going to reply to message. And I'm just gonna say hook me up. You can actually probably just hit reply and then hit send, and you don't don't need to actually say anything. Um, as long as you just send them a message, it'll. Uh, and we'll just move that to delete mail. And then this is our mission we'll get to here. I'll try to do a separate mission or uh, separate videos for each mission. Prove your worth one. Prove your worth two. That'll help you kind of like, all right, I made, it, I already made it through those first three. I need this, this one. So if you're just kind of looking to looking for something more specific, you'll be able to go straight to it. And sit down and listen to me yammer. All right, now you got your. Uh, something happens pretty quick. Here's a base of all your software that's available. Um, we can go ahead and move that to leader mail. Um, we're going to move this to save mail. And we'll keep that up. So we'll go to save mail. And there we go. And that's what we want right here. <coughs> that's hard to remember if you're good with numbers and whatnot. And you can remember and type this shit. Well, you'll have a field day with this game. because Although it's kind of more pain in the ass the typing and remembering and but since I don't do all that I do a lot of copy paste 
So we're gonna go ahead and connect. I, should, I can remember port 21 though, so you know, yay for me. Port 21. Alright, now we're connected. Now you just want to go back to your email and you can go ahead and actually copy paste your username as well. Bam. Shrling. There we are. We logged in. Go ahead and uh, type in C to get access. And then also keep in mind L. Once you're log if you are logged in any ser in, you know, to any server and you can tell by your hops, you'll have two instead of just one. Um, that's how you know when you're, no, once you add more, obviously it'll look like, you know, you got six or seven of them to create, um, take longer for traces, but for now it's a good way to just tell uh, my connected, or obviously you can see I'm connected to a server. Um, L is back to your main machine, so is your local machine, so anytime you got a, we'll, we'll touch base on that later, but that's just, uh, keep in mind. Because um, if I was disconnected, C would be C, and that would just be your your hard drive. But once you're connected, um, C is now the m machine you're connected to. So now we want to download the newest version. We don't need any of the other crap. I don't even know why they bother. All right, back out. Pubs. This is where it's going to take a minute. Not trying to, uh, at this point it's kind of like, Jesus, you gotta go through, yep. Yeah, this is where the game kind of loses most people right here. Like, what the hell? Um, nope, newest version. But, like I said, this is why I made this, is because I can show you a lot of the shortcuts that'll save you a little time, like that right there. No need to retype all that other shit. All you need to do is change generator. And then... Um, all I'm doing is hitting the up key, and that'll bring up the last command typed. That's actually, if you ever use DOS or any type of terminal, that's standard. So, yeah, you can uh, definitely check if you know any of those old school commands, some of them do work on this, um, up key is about the only thing I found that is similar, and then of course all these commands are remnants of old DOS commands, it's one of the more uh, realistic ones I've ever seen, um, which one was the last one, oh generator, talking too much, Oh, IP scanner was the last one. So library. All right. Now, obviously, by this point, you should be recognizing a pattern. Port scanner. I'm just going down the list as it's as it's posted or as it's listing. We're done. Well, done with that folder. Now you gotta go into scripts. Sorry, more to download. Here we go. Now I just type, you can just hit back again a couple times and get back to your download and then replay. But you gotta type in change the extension anyways, which is .cp. And then now you can just go back to doing it uh, my way. If you're good at typing and fast at typing, it doesn't bother you. Hey, knock yourself out. I, it's probably a lot faster, even if you're that good and fast at typing what you're seeing. And I'm just not the greatest speller or typer. So this is uh oh, I always do that. Fucking dyslexic much. Oop. Damn it! I did it twice in a row.
Ain't that a fucking bitch. Alright. Mm. Oh, and I can do that one by memory. Alright, now we're out of fucking... You want to clean the console? CLS? <coughs> Semicolon? No, I kind of did that a little fast, so, yeah. And that'll clear it, and then you just need to go back to... No, we'll just navigate back to the scripts. And there we go, what did I mean? Novell, net login. Oh, we didn't download net login. So we, you can go ahead and also, you can just go all the way back. SMPP. Nice and neat. Uh, now there's some nice and some easy ones in here that are SSH. Uh, yeah. Easy. And then Telenet. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Alright, now we're done. And then once you're done with the server, just uh, type DIS semicolon disconnect. So now, uh, now you'll see when I type in C, now it's your local directory. Um, your, your actual C drive. So, keep in mind, well, once you're connected to something, now it's L. So, um, you'll need to know that later on. Uh, we'll, I'll connect the dots later on, but it's a nice little tip as if you kind of tend to put, you know, push on on your own and figure shit out um, before you watch the tutorial videos. So, alright. So, all your software is downloaded. Alright, we'll go ahead and, uh, I can go ahead and uh, cut that out. And we'll, uh, I think that'll make a nice little video, upload time and what have you.